Okay, now this is the living room when you first come in. Has a fireplace. Nice picture windows. Bookshelves that are painted, but they are wood. This is the original woodwork in the house on the frames of the doors. It may be wood, hardwood floors under this carpet, not sure. So here is the first bedroom. It has a closet. Now we're going into the dining room, which is large. It is tiled. Here is the kitchen. Charles said you should replace the tile in here because it's cracked. But you can see where they were renovating this here in the process of getting it together. It has recess lighting in here. This is a bank owned home, so they don't have the lights on. Uh, this is another room. It could be used as an office or maybe another a kitchenette. So dark in here. <clears throat> and then this is just a pantry, which you can't see, unfortunately, because of the light in here. But there is a window. It's actually two windows. Okay, so upstairs is unfinished, but it has the potential to be one or two bedrooms. I'm not gonna go all the way up here. It's basically the attic. Oh, it's large. But as you can see, a large space and it can be finished off and made into two bedrooms actually so now let's go to the other bedrooms on the main floor Okay, so off the kitchen are the, uh, um, oh, this is a basement, which I'll show you shortly. Off of the dining room. You're not going to be able to see this bedroom that good because the window is boarded up. But it is a large bedroom that needs minor, I wish you could see this um, bathroom. Here's the bathroom. You can't really see the tile. I wish you could. I don't know how I can make it so the light will come on. I can't get the light to come on in here, but this is the bathroom. Has a little vanity mirror. Okay. So that was the second bedroom. This is just a hall closet. Here is the third bedroom. Unfortunately, you can't really see it that good because there is no light. The window is boarded up, but it is a large space. And this is would be considered the master bedroom because right off of it is the bathroom. Now this has, here's the jacuzzi. Gosh, I wish you could see it better than this. But it's a large, deep jacuzzi. And it has a nice little gas fireplace for a nice romantic mood. And 
in here. Oh, I can't open this door because it's locked. But in here is a stand-in shower and room for a sink and a toilet. Here's a glimpse inside the shower. Just needs to be cleaned up. lighting and a fan in here okay this door is locked from the outside but that's where the deck is <clears throat> okay now we'll go in the basement oh there's a walk-in closet Mm, can't see because it can't the power is off. But it does have a nice walk-in closet, so it's a master bedroom suite, which is very nice. <coughs> okay, so now we're going into the basement. So there are two entrances from the back from the master bedroom which walks on to the deck and then there's another entrance from the rear that will take you directly to the basement so if you wanted to turn the basement into an apartment or for a separate family that is a possibility because it is large enough to do that and then they would have their own entrance okay so let's go down the stairs Okay, so there is some work that needs to be done on these walls. Here are the stairs. But this is a huge basement and a lot could be done with it. This could be used as storage space. Just needs to be closed off. This is a large living area right here. Now, since it has a closet down here, it could be considered a bedroom. It's a nice size closet, just can't see it because there's no light. Here's a third full bathroom with a toilet and another uh, stand-in shower. Just needs a sink, a wall, and the door to be repaired. And this is the laundry room. I wish it was more lighting. I apologize for that, Patricia. And here is another be another bedroom with a closet. But it will have to be re-drywalled and maybe put some carpet down here or cover up this linoleum tile. And then this is the area where the furnace and hot water tank will be. And then there's still another room in here. It's too small to be a bedroom, but it could be an office. This There's so much space in here that you could build a kitchen down here and rent this out separately. That is a possibility, depending on what you want to do with it. But there are some holes in the wall. The pipes are gone, and it needs to be rewired. But those are simple fixes. We can get a used furnace that's working in there. 
I would also suggest purchasing a home warranty for this home because it's bank owned. I could see if the bank will be willing to pay for it. They might not because you are an investor, but sometimes they will purchase a, a home warranty for the buyer. But the warranty costs about um, $500 and it's good for two years. And it's for any appliances that are in the home. So that if that uh, if that uh, jacuzzi isn't working, then it is covered so that you can get it repaired or replaced. <clears throat> so this is just the hallway to outside. But like I said, it's locked from the outside. I can't open the door. But you can tell that this is newer siding on here. So whoever had this place added on um, an addition and they were doing a lot of work to it before they lost it. So it does have a lot of potential. And it's huge. I just love the original woodwork in here. This is beautiful. It just needs to be reglazed, shined up. This house has a lot of potential. Very large living room. And it has a reset lighting in the ceiling also. The houses on this street are in good to fair condition. They're doing a lot of remodeling of the homes on this block. They're keeping it up. But the only thing is that house right next door is vacant, but it is boarded up. So it is being protected and watched. But the house on the other side is lived in. And it's a good block. So it has a lot of potential. 